Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve the QT5 core.dll is missing error you're experiencing on your Windows computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, and without further ado, let's jump right into it. So we're going to begin first by opening up a web browser. Doesn't really matter which one. I'm going to open up Google Chrome for the purpose of this tutorial and you want to navigate over to google.com in the google you want to type in qt5core.dll download and you just want to hit enter one of the best matches should be for a domain that says dll slash files.com in the domain you want to left click on that again dll files.com is where we want to go for this so you want to scroll down this page a little bit until you get to underneath the available versions so this should be the most recent 32 and 64-bit version. Just make sure you're downloading the correct one for your respective version of Windows. Since I'm running a 32-bit OS, I'm going to select the download for the 32-bit corresponding link. Most people are probably running 64-bits nowadays, but just to keep you guys in mind, you know, there could be either way. So it should come out in a zip compressed file format. I'm just going to left point one time to open up the compressed file. And there should be a DLL in here. I'm just going to drag it over to my desktop. Just left click and drag it over. Now that we have the DLL file on our desktop, you want to go ahead and open up the Start menu. And you want to type in Windows Explorer or File Explorer. Just want to left click on that. Should be the best match. Go underneath this PC on the left side. And then you want to go underneath whatever your local disk is. So wherever Windows is installed on. So I'm going to double click on that. And then I'm going to go double click on Windows. Now you want to go left click on the View tab up at the top. Over on Options, left click on Options. Now left click on the View tab inside this Folder Options window. And underneath Hidden Files and Folders, make sure it says Show Hidden Files, Folders, and Drives. And then just left click on Apply and OK if they weren't currently visible. Once you're done doing that, now you're just going to go underneath the System32 folder if you are running a 32-bit OS. For a 64-bit operating system, you want to put it in the SysWow64 folder. So if I scroll down here, again, we have a System32 folder here. Again, that would be for a 32-bit OS. If you have a 64-bit, you can put it in SysWow64. I don't actually have that on my computer. I'm running a 32-bit OS. OS, so that's why I have a System32. Even though you do have a System32 and 64-bit operating system as well, just want to put that out there. So basically, once you have gone into your respective folder, you just want to drop it in off to the side. So I just dragged it off my desktop. It says Move to, and then to System32. You don't want to accidentally drop it into one of these folders. You just want to kind of do it off to the side here. So just left click to release it in here. It should say you'll need to provide administrator permission to move to this folder. Left click on continue. And there you go guys. Would suggest restarting your computer. And hopefully that has resolved your issue. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I hope I was able to help you out. And I also look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.